little scientist welcome back to my channel and today get ready for easy exciting experiments that will make science super fun parents don't worry all you need is stuff you already have at home so don't skip and watch the full video let's dive into a world of wonder so here we have some candies and a plate and some hot water you can use any color candies and i have used m and m here you can use gems or any other brands Place the candies in a circle around the edge of the white plate. You can organize them in a pattern or mix them up for a colorful surprise. Kids should always have adult supervision here, especially when using hot water. Also, allow the candy to cool before touching it. Heat some water until it's warm but not too hot. You want it warm enough to melt the gems but not boiling. Carefully pour the warm water into the center of the plate covering the candies make sure not to pour too fast so the gems stay in place Watch what happens as the warm water reaches the candy you can use a timer to record how long it takes for the magic to begin you can also talk to your kids about the changes watch how the colors spread and mix are there any patterns forming so some of the learning points are kids understand that the dissolving of sugar coating is a type of chemical reaction and they practice keen observation as you watch the colors spreading and changing you can also discuss how scientists use observations and experiments to learn more about the world around us kids also learn discovering takes time and not all candies change at the same speed and patience is key so here we need some clear glass or jar water food coloring small candle matches or a plate or a tray so pour the water into the plate until it's almost uh, three quarters full and then we can add some food coloring into the water mix them gently to create a colorful water solution Children learn that simple materials can be used to explore scientific principles. Adult supervision is required especially when handling matches or a lighter. Wait for the glass to cool before touching it. Next set the small candle on a plate and light it using matches or a lighter. Carefully place the glass over the lit candle ensuring the candle is completely covered by the glass. Watch as the candle flame gradually extinguishes. Observe any changes in the water or candle. So what happens here? The candle flame consumes oxygen inside the glass creating a low pressure environment. The colorful water gets drawn into the glass filling the void left by the consumed oxygen. So what kids learn they understand the concept of air pressure and how it changes as the candle consumes oxygen. So here we need a glass jar, water, some cooking oil and food coloring. So we'll fill some water into the glass about 3 quarters full and we'll add a few drops of food coloring into the oil. Always use a spoon and avoid touching the food coloring directly here. Also perform this experiment in an area where spills can be easily cleaned. Now pour the mixture on top of the water. Observe how the oil and water stay separated. Use a spoon to stir it gently. Mix the water, oil and food coloring. Observe the interactions between the substances. So what happens here? Oil and water don't mix because they have different densities. Oil is less dense than water so it floats on top. The food coloring mixes with the water but doesn't blend with the oil, creating colorful droplets suspended in the oil layer. So this is an engaging uh, simple experiment to explore properties of liquids in a playful way. Also practice making observations and describe what happens during the mixing process. For the next one we need some milk, food coloring, dishwashing liquid and a flower i've used a flower you can also use a cotton bud here pour enough milk into the plate drop some different food colors into the surface of the milk and you can space them out 
So use non-toxic food coloring for safety purpose. Avoid touching eyes or mouth. This experiment makes the kids understand the basic chemistry of how soap interacts with fats in milk, creating colorful patterns. You can also observe the movement and mixing of colors. You can also repeat the process with other colors trying different patterns or designs. Now dip a cotton swab into the dishwashing liquid and you can touch the soapy cotton swab to the center of the one of the food coloring drops. So observe what happens. When soap touches the milk with food coloring, it causes a colorful reaction. So for the next one, I have a plate, water, some pepper powder and dishwashing liquid. So pour a small amount of water onto the plate, just enough to cover the bottom. So kids learn about the surface tension and how soap affects it, creating a visible reaction with pepper. Sprinkle a pinch of pepper evenly across the water surface. Observe how the pepper floats on the water. This can also help kids understand that pepper stays on the water due to its hydrophobic nature. Add a drop of dishwashing liquid in the center of the pepper covered water surface. So what happens here? The soap disrupts the water surface tension causing the pepper to move away from the soapy area. So here I have two glasses of water, some sugar, spoon and food color. So create two separate solutions for this experiment. In one container mix plain water ensuring it's clear and free of any additives. In another container mix water with a specified amount of sugar until it dissolves completely. Creating a sugar water solution. Use a moderate amount of sugar to avoid saturation. Stir the sugar into one of the containers of water until it dissolves completely. You now have a sugar water solution. You can now add a food color to each of the container. Watch what happens. Observe if the layers mix immediately or if there is any noticeable difference between the sugar water and the plain water. So what happens here? Due to differences in density, the sugar water being denser than plain water might form a separate layer on top. Kids explore how sugar dissolves in water to create a solution with different properties. Also, this is an engaging hands-on science with basic kitchen ingredients. For the next experiment, we have some lemon, baking powder, food color, vinegar. So cut the lemon in half to create a stable base for your volcano. Squeeze a bit of lemon juice into the lemon halves. Add a few drops of food color and a teaspoon of baking powder. Perform this experiment on a tray or a plate to contain any spills. Also, adult supervision is required, especially while using cutting tools. Add a few drops of color and quickly observe the enhanced fizzing and bubbling reaction as the vinegar reacts with the baking powder and lemon juice. Try different food coloring in each half of mixed colors to see the changing shades of the lava. So what happens here? The vinegar reacts with the baking powder and lemon juice to produce carbon dioxide gas creating a more vigorous volcanic eruption. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a comment, hit that like button and share it with your friends. Your support means the world to me. Let me know what you want to see next. Suggest your video ideas in the comments below. Until then, stay awesome and catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.